Some folks got hardwood flooring over top of the subfloor. Some have vinyl over top of the subfloor. Some have carpet over top of the subfloor. Some have finished ceilings down in the basement underneath the main floor level. Well, first, what causes the problem? The joists, when they're installed originally, are green, wet. When they dry out, they shrink away. Showing you with the nail here, when the plywood shrinks away from the joist, you get that squeaking sound when you walk across it. Okay, we're now upstairs. We'll take the register cap away. I've previously drilled a hole in the side of the galvanized boot, which I can now put a nail into the hole and push it through until it runs into the side of the joist, keeping my forefinger and thumb nice and tight against the nail, pull the nail out. That's the exact measurement away from the boot that the joists were located. Now there you have it there. I tie it against the side of the carpet, tilt the nail up, push it into the under pad, the nail will stay upright until you take a measurement. Take a measurement from the wall out, that's 59 inches. Now that's 59 inches to the side of the joist, another three quarters of an inch will be the center of the joist because your joists are an inch and a half wide. Now I'll put a piece of tape right at the side of the nail. That way I'll be able to put my screw nails down through the subfloor and into the joist to tighten it right at the edge of the tape. Now this is a special screw that we're going to use along with an accessory which is called the squeak removing device. Now the screw goes down through the chuck like so and inside the chuck there's a stop which the screw point for the screw nail will stop at that point. There's an actual stop point which only allow that screw to go so deep. <laughs> And it's down through, pull that away. As you can see now, the screw has not went directly into the carpet, but it has stayed up high enough where I can now use the screw removing device on the accessory. Now screw removing device, screw head. Simply slide it over, move it back and forth till you break it off, pulling it out. Taking the squeaks away, look at that, not even a mark on the carpet. There's where the squeak was, gone, nothing more.